but even though it's like it is the 10-year anniversary, it's kind of like every day is a remembrance. You know, just you always see a shirt here or a hat there, or you know, there's a mug with the towers on it, or you're watching a movie and you're like, hey, the towers are in that movie, and you know, you rewind it just to see that part again, just to, to remember what it looked like. I know it's going to be tough. I mean, uh, every Veterans Day, Memorial Day is tough, and I mean, 2011, you know, 10-year anniversary, it's, you know, even just watching the videos that people put online, instant tears to the eyes. I mean, I mean that's uh, something tragic that happened to America. I mean, when I'm 100 years old and somebody says 9-11, it's instantly the first thing that's going to pop into my head, or, you know, hey, what was, you know, what was the biggest thing in your life that affected you is 9-11. I mean, that's, that's what got me to where I am now. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this interview if that hadn't happened. I'd probably be, you know, back in a small town, you know, trying to be a cop or working in a little mill. I mean, that, that was the big push for me to do what I'm doing. You know, everybody, everybody in, in some small way is directly connected to it. Every time I meet someone new, they have a relative that's related to someone that was in the towers or their cousin's brother or just you think of how big the, the country is and how small of an area that is, yet everybody knew someone that was related to 9-11. So, I mean, that, that to me is like our family tree connector back to that event. And I think that's why it's a never forget situation because everyone knows someone that it affected. Whether it be directly or indirectly, everyone had emotion toward it. Everyone was affected by it in some way.